what is up bras and welcome back today we have everything from the most op tricks that work on stadium bravo new parkour tricks on coastline all the way to a new mechanic with osa that will literally get you free kills so let's get into it and don't forget if you have a trick that you want to share in the next discord tricks video then join my discord server linked down below and i'll see you there i also want to thank one of the biggest supporters of the channel rocket and they create some of the best gaming peripherals out there so if you'd like to check them out i have all of my favorite gear linked down below below and code bra is going to save you 10% so check them out in the description box below up first we have some insane angles from a gaming gamer with the first one being one of the only across the map angles on stadium starting in penthouse you're going to walk around the armrest and balance around the back until you're next to the wall step back just a little bit from the corner and then you'll have this angle to watch attackers that are making pushes up yellow stairs now if you want to use this as an across the map angle you're going to just need to shotgun or impact open up the fountain walls along with the office wall, and then you'll have a nearly invisible line of sight that goes straight to attackers' heads if they go anywhere along this path. Up next is a specific fuse placement to bounce a cluster charge off of a shelf to take out anyone that's playing the half wall in armory lockers. All you have to do is fuse the top left corner of the armory window and it's going to actually send a projectile over the top right of the shelf and bounce to behind half wall. This room is based off of the same armory from border so you already know how popular it is for defenders to play here and this makes for a great combo if you do it at the same time as having a teammate open up the armory wall. Up next is the Oryx spawn kill runout for any attacker that's unlucky if he chooses to rappel down the south side of Gantry. Obviously this is best with Oryx to get out and in faster, but if you want to be really really risky and just YOLO it, you can run out here with literally any operator. But if you do that, then you're gambling if somebody is going to spawn west and have a line of sight onto you. Going back over to Armory, we have a C4 throw that I've been doing since the map came out and it still works insanely well. You can either run out of the door or blast open the wall enough to step out, but once you do either or, you're gonna just aim slightly left of the W on the compass and you're gonna be able to land your C4 right in the middle of the two wall panels, which seems to be one of the more common paths that attackers take after spawning in on the west side. Just throw a Hail, a Hail Mary throw. Maybe I step out for a sec. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Up next is the simple angle to deny the entry from the hallway bridge entrance, which is the big door that is also a really common spot for attackers to go to after spawning in on the west side again. Simply ping the door and then go to the northwest corner of server, and then you can put a punch hole in the wall to have a really hard to see angle that goes all the way outside to easily stop pushes coming from that direction. Another sneaky step that you can do here is to melee the top and the bottom and then hold the angle while prone. Then if attackers do spot the murder hole, they're most likely to pre-fire the top one at head level and then you can safely shoot back for a free kill. Another trick that you can do around the same area is you can play as pulse and then when attackers go to hard breach armory upstairs, you can pull off this crazy C4 that will not only kill attackers around the area, but it will also destroy any hard breaches that they may have placed. This throw is really high up, so you gotta give it a try in custom games to get the feel for it, but once you do, you're gonna be throwing Kobe's all game. If you do have impacts instead of a C4, you can also trick this wall with impacts if you throw them at the vertical pillar, but do keep in mind the impacts blast radius isn't gonna be able to reach charges if they're placed on the far east part of the wall. Up next is a simple drone hole grenade throw to be aware of. The blue stairs seems to be a really common place for defenders to place utility, and there just happens to be this drone hole above it where you can actually angle yourself correctly and get nades down. In this video, I was playing on a 16-9 aspect ratio with a 90 FOV, and I was crouching and leaning right. You're gonna need to be careful not to bounce the nade off of that back wall that hangs inside of the drone hole, but once you get it right, this is a great spot to remember. 
Moving over to the archives on Stadium, there is this elevated PC spot that you can use to have an angle onto both of the windows that enter the room. The easiest way to do this is to melee the PC on its south corner and then run from east to west to get on top. From there, you can stand up and look over the shelf to any of the windows depending on where you hear attackers pushing from. Moving over to Canal, we have a Big Brain Ozmi setup that takes just two seconds and gives you a one-way angle onto anybody that's pushing printer. Literally just throw a barrier underneath of the W in the word wing, and then another one towards the bottom of the first one you placed. After that, you're going to be forcing attackers to waste more utility, or if they don't realize what's going on, then they won't have legs and they're going to be spectating their teammates. Moving over to Clubhouse, we have an elevated Ozmi spot that you can do by breaking the beer bottle and the powdered sugar bags in the bedroom drawers. Now I want to take like a poll because I see so many comments that say I say Ozemi weird and I could have sworn I did Google Translate on this and I was saying it correctly, but I don't know, is it Ozemi? Is it Azami? Let me know how you guys pronounce it down below. Anyways, once you break those, you're gonna get a vault prompt that allows you to crouch walk from the dresser to the stacks of beer boxes. Once you're on the highest one, you can then throw a barrier on the white rose that's on the left side of the mattress to get this nasty angle that goes over the edge and out of the window. Oh, where is that bead? I got the fuser. Oh, your bead. So UB recently made getting on top of skylights really difficult with the OSA shield vaults. So we're now going to be using them as intended and place them in windows. But did you know that there are actually some windows that you can do this on and get a secret pixel that goes underneath of them. I'm going to show you three placements for this with the first one being here on Oregon. And this is one that's placed on the game room window and you can get an angle that goes all the way to attic. It's insane. The second spot that works really well is on the control room window on canal and a detail that I need to point out is that you should be throwing your drone up on the window prior to placing the OSA shield so that you can drive and get the debris out of your way. The pixel is so small that any debris that gets left behind seems to always be right in the way of the pixel that you're trying to look through. For the next spot, we're just moving downstairs to the locker room, which is at the bottom of Canal, and it's to show how not every single window is going to work the same. And in fact, there are some where attackers don't even have an angle, but defenders do, so you don't want to betray your teammates. This one here in lockers works for defenders, but not for attackers, so be careful for that. Or if you are defending and you see an attacker place an OSA shield here, then you have an insane counter that they most likely know nothing about. So staying with Osa, we have two spots that you can actually use upside down repel windows to make nearly one way angles. And we're going to be starting on the Villa Stable Yard window. If you repel upside down and place a shield on the window, you can have your second one placed normally outside, depending on the direction that you want to face. And you're going to create nearly one way angles that cut the map in half. You're actually going to want to place the one on the ground first, because if you place the one on the window first, then you're going to be pretty exposed while you're trying to place the ground one. But anyways, from the defender's point of view, the tops of each of the shields almost look like they're connected and it's really hard to distinguish where the pixel gap is but since attackers are closer and looking over that first shield they're gonna have a wide angle that is very difficult to fight against the second spot is for the big window on oregon where you can get angles all the way to the bomb and kids dorms this angle is a little easier to fight back for defenders but it still leaves a big advantage for the attacker Moving over to Games Room, we have a sneaky C4 placement that can cause a lot of hesitancy for attackers because if you throw a C4 inside of the light in Game Room, you can have a bulletproof C4 that can't be destroyed unless they are in range of dying to it. You are going to need to make sure that the C4 is placed more towards the north side of the light because if you throw this and the corner sticks out, then it can be shot. But when it's placed correctly, this C4 is completely bulletproof from attackers pushing from the south. Up next is the new prone parkour drop inside of the courtyard on coastline that will give you this insane angle that goes all the way to the corner behind the couch in aqua. All you need to do here is simply prone crawl yourself while moving forward towards this metal pole and then you're going to notice that you're going to start to drift left. Once you move left enough you're actually going to drop and land on the red flower basket that's hanging inside of courtyard and you can cut off any aqua rotates that happen later in the round all while being in such a weird 
weird spot that defenders are just not going to be expecting it until it's too late. Up next, we have two insane pixels, with the first being in the bedroom on club. If you melee that radio that's next to the vertical mattress, you can actually get this hidden pixel that goes to the doorway of construction. This is not a good spot to hold early on in the round because obviously you're going to be really exposed to that window on your right. But I know so many times that rounds come to a place where the last attacker is pushing from construction and that is the perfect time to use this. The second pixel is on Villa inside of Trophy. If you position yourself so that you're looking underneath of the Buck's back left leg, you can get this line of sight that is lined up with the bedroom window. From the attacker's point of view, it's pretty much impossible to see. Plus, no attacker is even going to be looking here because there are so many other lines of sight that they need to have their crosshairs on, especially if that bedroom wall is opened already. Now, even if attackers don't get this wall opened, it's still an insane angle to have to watch anybody that's pushing through statuary. Now up next is probably the most difficult trick in this video, but it's a way that you can still get on top of the railing on Spiral on Consulate. Now instead of going all the way up to Spawn Peak Gas Station, we're actually going to be stopping halfway and then running on top of the statue's head to have this crazy angle that reaches all the way through the bomb site and out the double window of Balcony. Like I said earlier in the video, I am playing on 16.9 here with a 90 FOV and what worked most often was crouching, looking all the way down and then moving just past the third vertical pole in the railing for the vault prompt. Once done correctly, you can simply vault over and land on the railing below. And I gotta admit, this one was pretty difficult for me to land consistently over and over again. So give it a try in custom games before full sending it in ranked so that you can get a feel for it. Another funny spot that you can do while using this is by going all the way up and then dropping on that flat ledge below where we got the vault prompt. You definitely don't have the most cover up here in this area, but it's definitely not a spot that attackers are going to be expecting either. Up next are two really cool spots that you can use impact EMPs. This one on Chalet was posted by Bikini on Twitter first and I thought it was genius. This is something that a regular EMP from Thatcher can't do and it is really only workable with the new impact EMPs. Basically these tricks are going to allow you to disable gadgets that have previously been invincible if you're able to locate them. EMP impacts have a radius that actually works through solid walls where other gadgets wouldn't and comboing this with well-timed teammates has huge potential for making certain pushes a lot easier. The second spot that this works really well is on yellow stairs on consulate because it's so common to have multiple ADSs placed with a defender playing here. If you time this right with a teammate's grenade, it should give you a free kill. One thing to note here is that if the ADSs are placed really low on the pillar, then you'd have to get on top of the skylight in order to impact the right spot, but that's a decision that you gotta make for yourself if you find yourself in that exact position. If you throw it without being on top of the skylight, then it will take anything out that's placed above the yellow line though. So good to keep in mind. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today. Go spawn peek someone on stadium and tell them that I sent you.